Well, hello everybody. Good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are watching me from, whatever time of day it is. I am going to do another kiln unloading, uh, kind of a popular thing on my website. I like to um, share with you the pieces as I finish them and how I glaze them and whether I'm happy or not with them. Anyway, my name is Sally Roper and I'm coming to you from Jamaica and that's Jamaica in the West Indies, not Jamaica, New York. And um, I'm just going to get to it. I want to make this short and sweet. I have um, our best friend's uh, son is graduating from Wharton Business School right now. And um, while they're just doing some speeches and stuff, I thought I'd take a quick break, do this kiln unloading and then get back to Ian's graduation. It's also my daughter Christine's birthday today. And she is a whopping 32 years of age. She's my Olympic gold medalist, um, but also just an amazing girl. And uh, I wish her happy birthday. So let's get to it. I'm gonna, I've had a sneak peek um, because I just wanted to decide whether or not this was going to be worth it to do the, to do the filming. I, um, have done some peacock glazing and some mugs. I have a show uh, next weekend, a fair that I'm taking part in and I've been bitterly disappointed in my stock. So I've been working really hard over the last few weeks to make sure that I have everything that I need in order to make a viable presentation of myself at this fair and I think I'm gonna just get by so with all um, all systems go let's unload this kiln I think I'm just gonna aim it down here towards um, well I don't really want to cut, cut the top of my head off uh, really what you're gonna see is just the top layer uh, as I open it up and then um, uh, I would not going to bother angle my my camera down. I'll just show you the pieces and talk about each one. Um, it's a lot of repetitive stuff. My kiln is um, okay. It's 136 136 degrees, so it's good. It's good enough to open, but just to be on the safe side, I'm going to put on my gloves. Uh, the pieces are warm. Uh, in fact, I can feel the heat radiating off of off of the kiln as I've opened it. But right here is one of the peacock bowls. So let me start showing you some of the other pieces. Um, okay, so this is a, a mug that I have. Um, it is by Opulence. The white is marshmallow. It's a matte. This is really, really beautiful. And on the bottom is gray. And this is uh, Clayscapes. It is... Um, uh, cobblestone by Jessica Putnam Phillips. So let me show you um, a little bit closer. And I really like this shape of mug. It's, um, I can tell you the, well, I know my hand size. So it's about three and a half inches, uh, three and a half inches across, and it's uh, just about four inches tall. I really like the shape, and I hope this is going to be a big seller next weekend. So I have three, three mug designs in the kiln, and um, Anyway, uh, I will show them all to you as they come out. This is just a pasta bowl that I have uh, made in the past. And this time I decided just to keep it all white. And this is Eggshell by Opulence. I just love, I love the sheen, I love the glow. And when you mix it with other colors, the blues and purples and greens just emerge. It, it's, a, it's a wonderful, wonderful glaze. Opulence is made by Mid-South Ceramics in Tennessee. I'm a big fan of, of, uh, of their glazes. I've used them for years with, um, with pretty good success. Anyway, here's a second bowl. I've made four of them, so I don't need to go in again. This beautiful, lustrous um, eggshell. It's just gorgeous. And there's, um, there's my signature on the back. And this is just a pot that I made. Um, I don't know what to use it for, uh, whether you use it as a planter or just a decorative piece that's going to sit on the on uh, on a countertop. Anyway, um, it, it, this turned out <laughs> this turned out really really well, and I'm going to make more of them. Anyway, this is uh, opulence. Blue Monday, um, full dip in Opulence Blue Monday. If you know me, uh, I dip. Most of my glazes are dipping glazes. 
and I have a little bit of um, Amico in their um, in their brush on glazes, but this is this kiln load is pretty much everything is with dipping glazes. And then um, what I did was I dipped the rim. Uh, I just turned it upside down, and I dipped the rim in sea spray. And so you can notice the the two tone. The sea spray is a green glaze. It didn't come up very green, but it gave a nice sheen um, to this um, opulence uh, Blue Monday glaze. So uh, that's a definite winner. And a couple more of these of these mugs. Same combination: opulence marshmallow and um, clayscapes uh, cobblestone on the bottom. And I did do, and you can't see it. So I did do a little bit of shimmering, um, a chattering, not shimmering, chattering on the bottom. You can see a little bit of the imprint there on the bottom, and it goes up to where the to where the um, the edges meet. But with this clay or glaze, it, it doesn't um, show very well. It's there, but it doesn't show very well, which. Is a good or a bad thing? It just means that it might be a little more uh, comfortable to hold. Again, here's number three. I remember I made I made four of them. So there you go. And the first of four, the peacock glazing. And um, this turned out perfectly, exactly as I wanted it to turn out. So what I did was, and it'll just take me a second to explain, and then all the others were done with the exact same process. This bowl is, is about 11 inches wide, and it is probably five and a half, almost six inches deep. <clears throat> so what I did was I did a full dip in, in opulent sea spray. I let that dry. And then I, I got flux, and I put it in, um, in an applicator bottle, and I did very thick W's. So if I say a W, I went like this, a continuous ring around the, uh, around the entire rim of the flux. So it just goes like this. And it's a continuous flow. And it's just dipping down. And then inside each one of those little hollows, I used, um, Oh gosh, I used uh, the Stroke and Coats. And if you wanna know what they are specifically, I'm gonna be posting these individually on, on my Facebook um, page. And um, I have just bought a whole bunch of Stroke and Coat. And so I have used various, various combinations. Okay, we're down a level. So I've run out of I've run out of um, a little plates or little broken shards that I use to uh, do my witness cones. This was a, an old firing on this side, but this is the new one. I did it um, on cone five medium and I did a 15 minute hold. So you can see I got about a five and a half. The six cone has, has bent somewhat, which tells me it's entering between five and six. And then this cone here, reaching all the way, almost to the bottom of the plate, tells me I'm a little more than five. So if the cone had bent um, to about, oh, got it so hard with these gloves on. Sorry, let me see if I can take it off. So if it had bent down to here, this far, which is at the top of where the stand is, that would be a perfect cone five. But because it went a little bit beyond that, it tells me that it went a little hotter than cone five, but not a cone six. So I'm somewhere about five and a half. These are very critical if you want to understand how well your kiln works and your firing temperatures. It just gives you an example of the heat work. Um, and I use them in every firing. Okay, so let me get the shelves out. I use advancer shelves. If you can afford them, get them. They've saved my behind many times. Um, these are the advancer shelves, lovely and thin. They don't warp, they don't crack, and if any glaze spills on them, it's just a simple, easy wipe off. Okay, I have two more of these pasta bowls. They are 
They're eight inches wide and about two and a half inches deep. I think that's a perfect size for a salad, for pasta, individual servings. Lovely. Again, that's an octopus eggshell. Okay. We're down another shelf. Let's move along. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Uh, you can't see it. Maybe I can bring you. You can just see a little edge. Well, let me do it this way. Let me just show you my next level. Ooh, some exciting stuff in there. <laughs> okay. All right, let me reset. Let me move this so I don't bang it. Okay. More of these mugs. And this, this one, I only did one, and it's in the Cranberry. Uh, Jess, Jess's, um, Jessica Putnam Phillips has uh, some of her personal glaze mixtures with clay shapes, uh, clay share, clayscapes, sorry, clayscapes pottery. Anyway, this is Cranberry, and again, Opulence Marshmallow. Uh, my signature on the bottom. And um, anyway, I only did one of those because I really was unsure of what the cranberry. I've been having trouble with the cranberry, but I think I've worked out worked it out. This is another design of the mug. Again, this is in the opulence eggshell, so you see how glossy and shiny it is. And just the iridescence of it. It's just it's such a fantastic glaze. And then um, I dipped the rim in, um, in Blue Monday, Opulence Blue Monday. I was hoping for a little bit more drip, but I've had trouble with my Opulence Blue Monday glaze, and I've done a little bit of alteration to it, and it seems to be behaving a whole lot better. So anyway, that's good. And I'll have, um, I have a bunch of these, so I won't bother. Nice, a little bit of nice dripping on the side. So I try to... Um, make things um, a little something that a, a guy would use there's a nice drip some nice dripping which these two glazes together will do but if you add um, the opulence reduction look which is my eggshell and um, uh, blue Monday both together will give you a little bit of run but like I said I just applied a thin layer um, anyway gorgeous I'm really pleased with how those turned out and here's the last of the uh, the cobblestone and marshmallow. All right. I um, probably like a whole lot of you. I um, invested or bought some of the flexi bats from um, Pottery Mill, and um, seeing them on Clay Share Con that Jessica Putnam Phillips did or or um, Clay Share did. And anyway, I bought, uh, I bought three different patterns. So this is my first time using them. And I've used um, Opulence eggshell on the inside and Opulence sea spray on the outside. And I'm really pleased with how the texture came out on the flexi bat bottoms. So it's my first time using them. I'd say it's a success. And um, I only bought one of each pattern, so I can only do one, make one at a time. So it's a bit of a slow, slow process if you want to make multiples. This is um, Opulence uh, Sea Spray. And again, I did a little bit of chattering on the bottom. Same like I did on the other mugs, but the cobblestone covered it up, but the Sea Spray doesn't. And um, anyway, I have uh, a bunch of these. So one, two, three, four. There's there's some more. And I think, hmm, I'm trying to think if I dip the rims in Blue Monday because there seems to be a bit of a, a difference in color. I think no, I didn't because there's nothing on the handle. So that's just sea, that's just plain sea spray. And again, this is um, eggshell and Blue Monday. I'm really pleased with how these mugs have turned out. Okay, so here's um, here's uh, another one of my peacock bowls. I did the outside in eggshell, and um, I did the inside in um, with the stroke and coat, same peacock method, using the the 
uh, flux and just doing it in little half semicircles and dotting the stroke and coat. And then I took rhubarb, uh, which is a, oh my God, uh, is it a clayscapes? Oh, whose pottery? Uh, I, I'll, I'll put it down in my notes as to whose rhubarb, the rhubarb. And what I did was I did two thick layers of rhubarb over the dots, and then I did the dots again. So um, anyway, it's a bit of a complicated process. I have pictures and I'll show you what I did. Uh, I think that's pretty yummy. I, I'm really pleased with that. Uh, as you see, most of my stuff is in blues and greens, and my daughter was here the other day. Um, not my birthday daughter, but my other daughter, Sarah. And um, she picked out some colors for me to do in some combinations. So I took her advice, and we have some interesting results. Okay, we're nearing the bottom. This is another one of these tea bowls, and um, there's the bottom pattern of the flexi bats. So that works really well. And there's enough of an indentation uh, with the flexi bats. If you carve the foot properly, you'll be able to glaze the inside pattern. And I think that makes the piece. I think if you left it just plain, um, then it wouldn't be quite so striking. So can you imagine just, you know, picking it up and drinking or something like that and you get to see, or people, you don't get to see it. It's whoever you're sitting with gets to see it. This is done in, opulence uh, blue monday again i was having a lot of trouble with my blue monday and i i just changed the um i just changed the water content and fixed it up a bit and got the specific gravity to what it should be and it seems to be working just a whole lot better for me blue monday and eggshell same pasta bowls eight inches by two and a half inches um winner winner i dipped um I dipped the outside into the Blue Monday, held it for one or two seconds and then took it out. And then on the inside, I didn't really have an easy way to, to grip the bottom uh, because of the shape of these. And I thought, how am I gonna do the bottom? So what I ended up doing was using my dipping glaze, but brushing it on. And I had a very, very thick um, royal brush and uh, I just kind of held it over the glaze and I just brushed it, brushed it in thirds. And then I brushed, then I found where kind of the thirds met and I brushed another set of thirds. And then when all that dried, I did it a third time and kind of half and in the bottom and then smudged it all around and, and it really came out well. So this is a dipping glaze on the, on the inside, I dipped on the outside, but on the inside, it's the dipping glaze brushed on it turned out perfect uh, I I don't know about you but I, I'm probably like a lot of people I really struggle with um, doing the inside and the outside because I love to use multiple colors in my pottery I have a big difficulty when I have to do the two tones and how to get the inside done without it spilling all over the outside and I think I've just found a winning way anyway here's here's another one so it wasn't a fluke <laughs> This is another one, again, Blue Monday and Eggshell, both by Opulence. And these are made to stack, by the way. Let me show you the four of the Eggshell ones that I took out. They're, uh, well, it's kind of a little crooked. I haven't set them up, but anyway, they're uh, made to stack. So they'll sit nice in a cupboard. All right. And this is um, Amico Sky. I decided to do a Celadon. Um, and there's the bottom. I, it's the um, Mon Monstera, uh, Mon Monstera, I think it's called Monstera leaf pattern. I'm having a little difficulty with that particular bottom. Um, anyway, in the way it peels off, um, but anyway, that one worked out quite nicely. So those are the flexi bat, thrown on a flexi bat and then trimmed and enough. And then I just waxed um, the foot ring so that I could do a full dip. Well, actually I didn't. I put my hand on the inside and I dip it in that way so that I make sure I get coverage on the bottom. And this is again, eggshell by Opulence on the inside. So Opulence is getting uh, good coverage in today's unloading. Okay, so this is another one of my peacock bowls. So this is um, a full dip in opulence eggshell. You can tell by the outside, it's a very solid color. 
On the inside, I did the flex pattern, same flex pattern, and I, I did um, the wine about it and j j not jaded, uh, blue aisle maybe, and one of the darker blues. I'll, again, I'll let you know. And um, I let it dry, and then I put on blue rutile um, around the rim and uh and then i did a second application of the dots of stroke and coat uh, oh yes i did blue routine and smoky merlot because uh wine about it is uh is a wine colored so i wanted to add that in and then what i do is i just take the brush and i lightly do the routine and the smoky merlot around the inside but um that turned out perfect uh, i'm i'm really pleased that really shows off the uh off the stripes I hope people next weekend like these. It's been a, it's a work in progress for me. Nobody in Jamaica does anything quite like this, so I'm really grateful for the things I learn from the potters that I watch online because um, it's very novel to the, to my Jamaican crowd. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, this ran a bit. Uh, this is, I know it was too thick. This is Jess's um, from Playscapes Pottery. This is the black copper. And um, I don't know how to show it to you so you don't get, but anyway, look here. Well, no, that's not gonna do it either. Maybe if I go this way and you get a little bit of, of the shine. Um, it, it was very thick and I kind of knew it and I, I had a feeling that this might not be uh, the best sample. My daughter asked me to do one all in and out. I had better results the last time I threw the, the well here I have a sample of it. Um, so this was the first, the first time I used it in one of the candlesticks and this is today's result. Um, I have a little bit of, it's not very pleasant up here so I might just refire it I did get a small amount of drip but thanks to my advancer shelves that's not going to be a problem I'll just grind that down um, but anyway this was more of a test cup I'm happy with the color not happy with the result how's that and this is a, a, a better result um, uh, opulence eggshell on the inside and the black copper um, playscapes black copper on the on the outside so if you can see I don't know how well you can see the shimmer but it's it's got a little bit of shimmer to it it's 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 nice so I'm happy I'm happy with that one that's a one-off okay just a couple more pieces and we're done so this is, um, again, the Opulence Blue Monday on the inside, uh, dipped and brushed on the outside with eggshell, the dipping eggshell. So um, it's not an easy process to brush on one of Opulence's dipping glazes. They're, they get very, the brush gets very dry very quickly, but I used um, a Royal and Langnickel. I used their, um, uh, their biggest brush and it holds a lot of glaze and I worked very quickly Okay This is a jug. Um, this is uh, blue Monday um, I dipped blue Monday up to here on the outside poured sea spray on the inside and then dipped it down to here on the outside of, of this jug so that's uh, blue Monday and and sea spray um, I like it. It's a cute little jug. It's um, four or five, six inches tall, and the mouth is probably three and a half inches inches wide, just to give you an idea of the size. The handle, I've really gotten pretty good at putting on handles. I've yet to have one crack in the last probably 200 handles that I've made. So if people want to know the secret of that, um, I'll do a video on how I do my handles. Last piece, another peacock bowl and uh, turned out great this is um this time it's dipped on the outside in in blue monday and um done on the inside with the uh with the peacock glazing so i'm really pleased about that i have pictures of of my glazing technique um, and i will be posting those later 
So that's really it. I want to thank you all very much for uh, taking the last 25 minutes to watch this video. Uh, I'm a little crooked, so let me straighten me up. <laughs> and um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day or whatever you're doing at the time you watch this video. Thank you all very much. Uh, again, happy birthday to my to my daughter, Christine, and um, happy graduation to my to my son, uh, to my son, Ian. He's not really my son, but he should be. Um, anyway, uh, thank you all very much. Have a wonderful day. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed already and wish to, I post a lot of kiln unloadings. I don't profess to be a teacher, so I don't do too many of how I make things, but if you want me to, I'd be happy to incorporate that into my, into my, um, my library of videos. So uh, please subscribe, please like, and uh, I look forward to opening um, another kiln. Well, I'm firing the kiln a few more times this week uh, in preparation for the show. So um, all gods be willing, it will, it will work out great. So thanks, have a wonderful day, and uh, enjoy life. Bye.